Big occasions in our lives require special gifts. At times it can be difficult to choose. A lover for his lady say when making up for tiffs, celebrations or just chasing off the blues. Birthdays, anniversaries and Christmas play their part. Valentines when hearts need reinforcing. Presents he must give her so that joy will fill her heart. And to show through his the power of love still coursing. A friend of mine was puzzling in his head. I told him this, I said to him, I said, I said, don't buy your wife a vacuum hey. cleaner. Don't get a vacuum cleaner for your wife. It suggests you think she's divvy and regard her as a skivvy. And that's not what a lady wants from life. So don't buy your wife a vacuum cleaner. Even though you feel you're doing swell. No matter how you try some Electrolux or Dyson As a gift it's rather like a nasty smell <sighs> You may have fond illusions of how well your gift's received Imagining her youthful love's recapture But those sorts of appliances aren't usually perceived As anything approaching careless rapture But rapture is a word that seems more apt where a relationship like yours has just been zapped In fact, it could hardly be obscene For her who was your lovely bit of fluff She might take more to manoeuvre Than shoving her an oover And a goblin surely would not be enough It isn't like a sleigh ride that you'll hope will never end It's dicey where it's icy She'll be going round the bend So don't buy your wife a vacuum cleaner You may think she's beside herself with glee You may think that she'll go manic like she's riding the Titanic But most likely what she feels is all the same It may well cause a dent in her demeanor Drive her up the pole, it's not a lark and she cannot va va voom it, nor cuddle it, nor groom it, or take it for a walk around the park. <laughs> Inhaling dust bags isn't much admired, as an aphrodisiac it leaves a lot to be desired. You could wake up and find you haven't seen her for a while, and that your gift has led to strife. And you could get quite lonely when you find that you've got only A vacuum where you used to have a wife Oh my! A vacuum where you used to have a wife! Good night, Ned. Oh, you shouldn't have. But the trouble is, you did. If that's the sort of thing that's going to govern the way we live, I say now, give it up and be well rid. P.S. Your dinner isn't in the oven. He now makes such a sorry sight, behold him. He certainly can't say I never told him.